Hello guys and welcome to a new Still Division video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you the Knife Guy vs Player in round 2 of the first North American tournament. Today we are seeing Colin Bell once again but we have some very different divisions from the last game. The 7th Armoured on the Allied side and on the Axis side the 9th Panzer under command of Player. So this is an interesting engagement, of course you have the uh, Stuart Recons on the 7th Armoured, you got the Stag Cowns, you got the Desert Rats, and those units combined have been the majority of victories for the 7th Armoured. On the side of the 9th Panzer, of course you have the 20mm units, the Panzer II Lux, the Befell Panzer II, um, you also have the Panzer 1Cs, which are good at sort of the close range recon. Um, then, of course, you do have Marder 3s, which are great at longer ranges. So, I think in a map like Colin Bell, this bottom side especially is going to need to be dictated by a Marder 3, really. And on the top side as well. In the factory, it's going to be an interesting one because, dependent on what player decides to use, uh, this factory could be pretty difficult to deal with, especially if it's going to be like Volschmjägers. Well, not Volschmjägers, sorry. Uh, Panzergrenadiers. Um, but if they're backed up by a Flam Panzer, that might not be too bad. And depending on which buildings they garrison, the Panzergrenadiers can do a lot of damage with those machine guns. They do have two MG42s after all. And um, those are enough to really put the pain onto units like Desert Rats from a distance because Desert Rats, they're great at close range um, but and they have two Brens, but those Brens are not great for long range engagements. They just don't have the HE that matches up to an MG42. Anyway, let's have a look at what's actually going down here. Try and work out what the knife guy's going for. It does have the double Stuart at the start. Going to be bringing in the command with that. Seems pretty staple, honestly, for the 7th Armoured. Um, with a Stuart Recce with a recon, and there's also a Desert Rats up here. So looking to sort of use this top strip of land to, to make a lot of ground very quickly. And all he's going to come up against is one pack 38. So that may be made short work of. On the bottom side, it's just going to be some Desert Rats. Uh, looks like a Desert Rat and maybe the a command there to be pushing for the factory and then sort of a motorized rifle and a desert wrap going to the bottom side on the side of player he has like i mentioned already the at gun and there's now going to be a panzer grenadier for that top side there's the three panzer grenades here with the flam panzer two commands and a panzer faust or panzer shrek sorry um the flam panzer has the potential to do a lot of damage like I mentioned, against the uh, Desert Rats can definitely exploit that as long as they are in line of sight. And the Knife Guy, decent player, will know to stay out of line of sight as long as possible, especially against the Flam Panzer. On the bottom side, this is going to be covered by Pack 38s, and seeing these AT guns everywhere kind of makes me wonder if we're even going to see a Marder in Phase A, which could be really, really bad against the seventh armored because the seventh armored these stewards especially when they're three stars the 50 cows and the 30 cows they have they really do destroy pack 38s early on because the pack 38s are generally and quite commonly known for missing their first shot especially when they don't have any veterancy because they only have like five accuracy base without any veterancy that's that's no different now this panzer grenadier it looks like player kind of tested to see if he could just take the other side of the factory and it looks like it's being gifted to him the pack 38 here is going to be trying to engage at uh, this stuart recce but that's going to reveal its location which is not ideal these panzer grenadiers are not in a good position either they were in the wrong building so they weren't in range to fire their panzer faust the stuart recce and now what's happened is both of these Stuarts are opening up onto the pack 38. The Stuart Remy has got on range with its uh, 50 cal. Panzer Grenadiers redeemed themselves by taking out, uh, taking out that Stuart. But uh, the pack 38 has gone down. New pack 38 is on the way and also another Panzer Shrek. 
So nice response here by a player. I think if he can get some decent ambushes with these Panda Shreks, it would be a nice way to sort of clean up these Stuarts. But of course, the Stuarts do have their own recon, so it's less likely that they are going to get ambushed. And there is a Recce squad with them, so good job by the Knife Guide to have that there. Uh, Flampanzer in the mid, though, hasn't seen any fighting just yet. Uh, Panzer Grenadiers are going to be just continuing to try and make ground in the mid, and that's something that players have been doing pretty well. This pack 38 though, can it find the kill? It's not in range of the 50 cows, so that's good for um, player. But it is under fire by the very, very accurate Stuart main gun. And uh, as you can see, that is slowly but surely killing it off. Like every hit that the Stuart 5 makes, it does one damage. And there you can see another pack 38 down. Those just aren't good enough. Um, if you want to take out a Stuart 5, unless you get them pretty damn close. So, for example, in this forest, um, I think there was one here previously, wasn't there? But keeping it on return fire until a Stuart gets within like 400 meter range, have a command nearby, then you might have a chance of like one shotting the Stuart. If you don't, it's probably dead anyway, anyway. Um, so, that's just something you've got to worry about. Nice kill there, though. Getting off that uh, Recce squad is going to blind the knife guy on the top side. and it looks like the command that was brought in in the mid uh, was taken out uh, with the help of the flam panzer. The Stuart Remy is going to have to back off. Uh, some motor rifles have been brought in to kind of stem the uh, the territory. Uh, but the Staghound's now arriving on this bottom side. That could struggle against a double pack 38 down there, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, currently on this top side, the motor rifles and the desert rats, they're, they're looking for the kill onto the panzer grand. Stuart Remy going to be attacking and moving around the top side with the Stuart 5. Once that comes into line of sight, this, this Panzer Grenadier is just utterly dead. There we go, two, one, gone. Lovely. <laughs> nice kill there for the Stuart Remy, the three star on that 50 cal. Any three star 50 cal is just disgusting to deal with. On this bottom side, uh, the Stag Count un under an engagement with the Pack 38. Not a place he wants to be in and certainly gets taught a lesson. Goes down. A little bit of missed micro there. I think uh, Knife Guy had plenty of time to, to move back behind this tree line. Probably just didn't notice that engagement occurring since he's definitely focusing on the top here. Oh, that was a bit of a mistake. Allowing the Panzer Shrek there to engage the um, half track really did reveal its location when it had the potential to maybe kill off the Stuart at 5. But smart moves by the knife guy anyway to just move in the infantry first and get rid of any potential ambushes before the, the, the armor moves forward. So good job by the knife guy so far. 53% territory lead. He's kind of stopped player also from moving outside of this factory. He did kill off the flam panzer here. Looks like those panzer grands on the top side, they were spotted. They're going to be run down by some motorized rifles. Uh, Panzergren's opening up onto motorized rifles here. They are actually doing a lot of damage. Um, the half track has gone down. These Panzergrenadiers are opening up at range. Panzer 2 looks is actually in a pretty prime position to take out this Staghound. If the Panzer 2 managed like use this time whilst the Staghound is like behind the train to sneak towards it, that would be ideal. But uh, didn't take advantage of that. So now player is gonna engage at a longer range and that means that the Panzer 2 looks does get ammo storage here. Well it looks like this pack 38 it did get a driver wound onto the Stuart 5 but not enough to stop from that Stuart 5 from doing the damage and as you can see the next Stuart 5 going to be opening up gets its 30 cals and its 50 cal on target pack 38 is dead. These AT guns are just not good enough against the 7th armoured. You really need the Marder 3s and saying that, the Marder 3s can actually be countered by Spitfires, but I still think they're better than the AT guns in most cases. The Panzer 2 looks here, it has no more 20 mil ammunition, so that's no longer a threat to the Stag Count. The Stag Count, I think, has got line of sight here. Yep. Going to be taking that shot, Panzer Grenfuhrer, uh, trying to block that off with the smoke. Not going to be able to do the job, though. And well, the Stuart Remy has managed to push through, so good job there. And the 1C is being forced back at the moment on the top side by the Stuart 5. 
And until phase B, there's nothing really bigger than a Panzer II that uh, the knife guy has to deal with. So that's interesting because um, normally you'd have to deal with Marder threes, but that's not the case. So it's something that the seventh armored player can really take advantage of. Backhound's going to be trying to pin down the Panzer Grenadiers. The Stuart Remy's uh, doing the job as well. The knife guy really has this top side under full control. And even at close range against this Panzer 1, it's just not going to do any damage. Like, that's 3 AP at 600 meter range. So in order to penetrate a Stuart 5 in the front armor, it would have to be within, like, 200 meters. And that's just not happening. Stuart 5 takes care of that easily. Flampanzer is coming down the main road here. We'll come under fire from the 50 cal. Um, so that might get a little bit pinned. But the Flampanzer can definitely run down those units quite nicely. Player is making a breakthrough on the bottom side though. With the pack 38s pushing forwards, the Staghound has been taken out. And with the assistance of the Panzer Grenadiers, um, they might be able to push forwards. But Player loses his Panzer Grenadiers to a surrender to the uh, Desert Rats. And... It looks like also the flam pans on the top side has just gone down. These Panzergrens are dead. Motorosh rifles do get killed in the open by the Panzer 2 looks, but the Staghound's going to be looking for the kill there. Stuart Remy again going to be opening up. This is interesting because it's kind of swung diagonally, but uh, one thing that the knife guy has done that the, the player has not is cut off the reinforcements. So the knife guy can just leave like a single infantry unit here and now push uh, downwards with the Stuart 5 and cut off the rest of these reinforcements. Uh, Panzer 2 looks really trying to have a go at the Stuart 5 here but just not close enough really to do enough damage. Uh, it's got to get quite lucky really maybe get a critical strike or something onto the Stuart in order to win that engagement. In this case player just going to have to back off. Um, Panzer Shrek's there. Oh that's going to engage I think the Stuart Recky or maybe it did kill uh, a Stuart. Yes it did. It did manage to kill one of the Stuart 5s, but... Oh, it's going to kill off another Stuart as well. Good job there by a player, just to uh, micro that. Uh, but it's really going to have to try and take advantage of this bottom side. And while the Pack 38 has got some work to do, if it can kill off the Stag Hound, that would be fantastic. Because then the Panzer II looks gets enabled and can maybe push through in the mid. Such a precarious position for, for both players at the moment. Um, player does have these two pack 38s in a really nice position. He does have the Panzer II looks in a good position as well. He might be able to use that to clean up both of these M5 half tracks. Then his infantry is, is clean to so sort of push down on that bottom side. On the top however, if this Panzer II looks goes down, then the knife guy is going to have plenty of opportunity to uh, push forwards. But we have, or we will be, moving into phase B in well, two seconds, one second. And this is where Panzer IVs have the potential to arrive. But then on the side of the 7th Armoured, you do, of course, get, well, Cromwell 7s, by the looks of things, from the knife guy. Uh, but also um, Achilles. Achilles are a common one. And the Stuart Remy's there. They're going to be demolishing those Panzer Grenadiers at range. Plus two still on the board for the knife guy. This Panzer II looks is under fire from the Stag Cowan. The Pack 38 didn't manage to find the kill. Is that just on a move order? Wondering why that's not firing. It must be sort of not blocked by like elevation slightly or something. That's that's very odd. Either way, the uh, the Panzer II looks does go down, and uh, that is not good for player. You can see just how much these back 38s miss when they don't have any veterancy with them. That's why you really do need to bring in the command next to them. If you're going to try and utilize them. It's the same deal with the Marder 3s, honestly. You're relying so much on the first shot that you need to have the accuracy to make it happen. But now, for example, like a Cromwell 7, these are perfect for dealing with Pack 38s because they can pretty much shrug off the shots they take in the front armor, due to having a leving front armor, uh, whilst also putting down the 5 HE. So, yeah, Cromwell 7 there. Definitely has the potential to just win this engagement. There is going to be Desert Rats coming in to maybe make a push there. This Stuart 5 looking for a kill onto the 250-10. Does find an internal fragment. Double Panzer 2 looks coming in. Oh, this could be nasty. 
player are going to rip through some of these armoured vehicles. The Stuart Remis do not have a Stuart to cover it since the Panzerstreck did the job. And maybe this could be the chance for a player to really break back because if he manages to like clean up some of these Stuart Reckies and the Stuart Remis, then he's, gonna, he's in a really good position, but uh, not if he lets them get in range of the Desert Rats. 100 meter gammon bomb there actually hitting the target, which is remarkable. Stuart 5, that's going to be engaging the Panzer II Lux at risk range. The Panzer II Lux is, has a potential to be quite deadly. Um, surprised actually to see the player has backed off. Maybe he's going to wait for his pack 38 to come down so that he can basically 2v1 the Stuart 5. In this case, though, going to one shot the half track, very nice. Panzer 4 is trying to arrive on this bottom side. Uh, we can see the Panzer Grenadiers did move into the factory, took out the Stuart that was hiding there. They're now going to be trying to take on Desert Rats at close range, but that's not ideal for a Panzer Grenadier. What is nice though is the Panzer II looks here, going to help these Panzer Grens clean out some of this infantry on the top side. But with another Cromwell 7 on the field, um, those Panzer II looks aren't really going to be able to do too much for too much longer. Stuart 5 engaging this Panzer II looks down on the bottom side. Now the Pack 38 coming under fire from the Stuart 5 as well. M5 half track going to open up onto the Panzergrens. There is like so many Panzer 4s coming in. You got two Panzer 4Js and a Panzer 4H. If these guys can kill off the remaining armor, there is a good chance the 9th Panzer can stabilize. But if these Panzer 4s go down, then player is in just a, such a bad position moving forwards in this game. Because the knife guy is sitting on this plus two and has been for a while. And it's counting up slowly but surely. Oh, and the Panzer Grenadiers here being allowed to shoot this Cromwell 7 in the arse. That is not what you want to see. The Desert Rats are going to smoke it off so that cannot happen again. But now that's a sitting duck in the face of a Panzer 4 J. Panzer 4 J takes it out. Panzer 4 J paid itself off there, more or less, which is nice. Um, this has a potential to, to turn into something. Um, these Panzer IVs definitely coming in strong, do match up quite nicely to the Cromwells at, at longer ranges. But that Cromwell VI, that's managed to get a shot into the Pack 38 as that goes down. One thing I am just worried about is the territory in general. And there doesn't seem to be like any inventory coming to this top area when honestly you could really exploit these buildings to jump Panzergrenz forwards and take out the Stuart 5. And one thing that's got to be careful here is this Stuart 5 has the potential to just kill the Panzer 4 at close range and that could be very bad indeed. Panzer 4H going to be engaged by a 2 star 6 pounder. Does manage to break the line of sight which is good. Panzer 4 J in the mid though, that's already under fire from the uh, Cromwell 7 and is going to take a shooter wounded. Um, so that needs to start backing off or at least try and break the line of sight but is not. Driver's now knocked out. And uh, well, looks like it's kind of doomed. Hasn't died just yet though. This Panzer 4 H is going to be allowed to engage the Cromwell 6. That would be really nice actually, just take advantage of this to shoot at the Cromwell 6, but uh, that's not happening just yet. Okay, now it is. Panzer 4H, come on, hit the hit the mark. Oh, how did that not hit with the first shot? That's really unfortunate there for player. On this very top side, the uh, the Panzer 4H is avoiding the Stuart 5 engagement and just heading round to the top side here, just trying to try and cut off these forces. I think that's a smart choice, but uh, the Cromwell 7, um, that's going to be engaged in the Panzer 4 at close range. Panzer 4 should win does get the track will destroyed can it find the second shot because killing that would be very very important takes out the Cromwell 7 is it going to take out the Cromwell 6 as well player really really needs to make this work does have more infantry on the way I'd like to see one of those Panzergrens move to the uh, top side though I really really would um, oh motorized rifles leader here they're going to be using the smoke to block off the shot from the Panzer 4 onto the Stuart 5 I like how player made this engagement rather than pushing up close and allowing the Stuart 5 to have a, the potential of killing the Panzer 4 he came around the top side there to engage at the 1000 meter range 
Um, but in the mid here, the motorized rifles are going to get the pit shots onto the Panzer IV, and that goes down. Um, this Panzer IV, oh, it's just, it's in a precarious position now. It's surrounded by two two-star six-pounders, and regardless of the fact it took out the Cromwell Seven, there is another Cromwell IV now coming in, and that is going to be an issue. Oh, it's not looking good. I thought player, having brought in all of these Panzer IVs, had had potential to like bring this back but seeing a couple of those panzer fours now go down it really does make me doubt if player can make back the ground in time to stop the knife guy from just straight up winning through conquest points because it looks like that's when what's going to happen at the moment there is six minutes and eight seconds left on the clock until the knife guy wins by conquest victory and well with a six pounder coming into that tree line at that range well that there goes the panzer it wasn't supported by the infantry close enough and paid for it i think the infantry also just got taken out previously so that would be why that occurred just good job by knife guy um he did obviously lose some units unnecessarily i feel like not having all of these Stuarts and half-tracks in this area supported did cost him quite a bit as the Panzer II looks came in with the little rampage. Also losing the Cromwell 7 wasn't good. But getting these six pounders in is very smart and uh, Panzer IV J here going to get shot at by the motorized rifles. I think to almost tried to turn there to, to kill the motorized rifles but just gets popped by the Cromwell 4. Really bad micro of the Panzer actually. Uh, four player. It's not good. Not getting any better anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> M5 half track's going to clean up one of the Panzergrens down here. He does have pioneers in decent positions to stop the advance of infantry, but honestly, with the knife guy still maintaining the ground on this top side, it's just making things very difficult. Panzer 4H going to be engaging the Cromwell 4. Cromwell 4 does have the two veterans, see? But that is a 5 accuracy gun with 2 veterancy versus a 6 accuracy gun with 1 veterancy. So they're roughly on the same level. Just going to constantly miss each other. <laughs> that Panzer IV really needs to hit if it wants to pin down the Cromwell IV. Oh, <laughs> that is a nasty shot. I think this it was more or less a side shot there for the Cromwell IV. But put it straight through. As that Panzer tried to retreat, and I think that's pretty much sealed the deal. We have like two Panzer II looks coming in, but with the composition of forces that the player is up against, I don't think these are going to do too much. And honestly, what 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 can you go? What can you do from here? Uh, as as the Ninth Panzer, like you can get to Phase C, you can bring in Tigers maybe. But Tigers aren't really going to solve this problem. Like, Panzer IVs were all that he needed, accompanied by some infantry. But it got to a point where he just lost too many forces, and the 7th Armoured just completely outnumbers him on the ground. And that's where we're at now. And, well, there's another kill. Six Pounder takes out Panzer IV. There's now two left on the field with another one. With this one coming in. These Panzer II looks might be able to punish some of these light vehicles again. But there is an Achilles here with a Cromwell 4 kind of hanging around. So there we go. Two minutes and 50 seconds left until the knife guy wins over player. And uh, yeah, just using the solid tried and tested strategy of the double Stuart Recons. It's something that we do actually see quite often and have seen throughout this tournament. It's just because those, the veterancy on those Stuarts is just really, really high. So it enables them to kill AT guns at a distance like we saw just from hitting multiple shots on target. Now Panzer IV J is going to be able to help do a lot of damage Against some of these motorized rifles at close range. Honestly, Panzer IVs can be very, very strong due to them having three MG34s and their main gun on target. It's 
Panzer II looks though, just gonna be hiding. Needs to, because the Cromwell IV and Achilles would take it out very easily. Panzer IV, gonna be finding the kill onto the Stuart though. That's nice. And it looks like the Pioneers, or maybe even the Panzer IV J, killed off that half track, but uh, yeah, this plus three for the knife guy is not going anywhere anytime soon. Or oh, the Achilles then nearly got the shot onto the Panzer II looks, but not quite. Now the Cromwell IV are going to be turning and engaging the Panzer Grenadiers there. That might give the Panzer II looks a chance to poke forwards and do some damage. Nope, never mind. Cromwell IV makes the turn. Panzer IV H is going to be engaging the Achilles. Due to wounded on that Panzer II looks is really nice. Oh, nice kill there for the Panzer IV onto that Achilles for sure. Now it's just going to take out the Cromwell IV as well. And uh, that would be very, very good. Now the Panzer II does go down. It looks like the Panzer IV will win this engagement. It will force the Cromwell IV back and then it has plenty of time to fire. Well, there is a Tiger on the way. It's not really going to save players' bacon, though. Oh, and that's a nice kill. 17-pounder does come in. Pops that Panzer IV. And there goes any hope of a comeback. Ten seconds left on the clock. Eight. Seven. Oh, no. Don't tell me the Tiger E goes down as well. This would be absolutely tragic. Saved by the bell. Wow. 23 minutes and 32 seconds it took for the knife guy to defeat player. Wins by conquest victory. 2,500 kills as well to 1,745 losses. Interesting how it's 2,500 kills exactly. Very, very nice. So, yeah. Stuart Fives doing the job early. Shrugged off all of those pack 38s. I do kind of find it baffling sometimes um, that these tanks kill off so many AT guns. Like generally you would assume an anti-tank gun, let's just, let me just rephrase that, anti-tank gun um, would actually counter tanks. But in this case, it mainly comes down again to just veterancy. If you're going to use pack 38s in the 9th Panzer, you have to. You have to have your command nearby it. Otherwise, it's not really going to do anything, as we saw. Um, the 5 accuracy base is just not good enough to be accurate at range. So, if that's the case, and say if you don't have the command because you've used it elsewhere, then it's just about keeping them on return fire, just being disciplined with them, so that when they do get spotted finally, they can just fire that shot and hopefully hit the mark. But yes, firing at range does allow you to get more shots off, but they're just so much less likely to hit. And uh, yeah, well, three AT guns killed by the Shureki. Um, As for the rest of them, well... Cogmar 4s actually did a really good job. Killed off the Panzer 4 J, killed off the Panzer 4 H, killed off the two looks. That was the one towards the end. Lots of Panzer 4s dying in the end. It just seemed like the knife guy had the answer to what player was doing. There was some missed micromanagement on both sides. I think the knife guy definitely lost a lot of his light armored vehicles unnecessarily. Let's have a look at some of these losses. There was times when like Panzer Grenadiers got kills that they probably shouldn't have with the Panzer Faust. But good job by player with this Panzer Shrek actually. Took out the Recky, took out the, the Stuart V recon. Panzer II looks there doing okay. There was a point where the two Panzer II looks came in. They cleaned up a lot of those light vehicles and then they were followed up by the Panzer IVs. That's when I really thought player had a chance. But then the Panzer IVs just went down unnecessarily in, in, in some cases, not in all cases. Um, some he was just unlucky, but yeah, 
it added up and in the end like being so far ahead enabled the seventh army to just maintain the conquest lead that they had and that's pretty much it so congratulations to the knife guy gonna be moving on to the semi-final of the first North American tournament and player last we're going to be seeing of him drops down to the lower bracket but in the meantime hopefully you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one goodbye